dear readers of the Toronto Journal of Theology. My name is Walter van Herk from the University of Antwerp. And uh, I'm talking here also on behalf of my co-author, uh, Angelica Drigo, uh, who is at the University of Uppsala. Um, I, um, I want to invite you to reading our article uh, on the plausibility of pure religion. I'm talking to you uh, from uh, the Antwerp Beginich, as you can see, uh, and uh, in a moment I'll explain to you why this is the most appropriate uh, location to discuss the notion of pure religion. The concept of pure religion is central in Olivier Roy's uh, work entitled um, Holy Ignorance. It's about the separation between religion and culture. Um, his thesis is that um, in a pre-modern context, religion and culture were deeply interwoven. In fact, it is hardly possible to distinguish them. Anthropological studies show abundantly that tribal culture and tribal religion were once very identical. In different phases of history, religions, however, have strived towards a disconnection with culture in order to bring their faith to a wider community. The universalism of St. Paul, the Reformation and its drift away from local saints and holy places are just two uh, exemplary instances. And um, this, this tendency has been reinforced recently, of course, by all the processes of globalization. Um, and it, what Roy wants to say is that the end product of these evolutions is pure religion, a form of religion which has drained all references to local specific cultures and which has formulated itself in a universal language understandable for everyone. Our question in, in this article is how plausible is this notion of pure religion? It clearly has limitations, but of course it's also a very good heuristical device. It makes us see things uh, in a certain perspective. Uh, it draws elements, aspects of religion to the fore, which we uh, would otherwise neglect. And of course we also point to a kind of a resemblance of this notion of pure religion with the notion of natural religion as it was developed in the Enlightenment. And now about the Beginich. Uh, Begins uh, are um, mostly uh, very educated um, religious uh, women who want to lead a religious life uh, at the end of the Middle Ages, uh, but who also wanted um, to keep as much autonomy as they could. And so uh, in a Beginich, we can see on the one hand the embeddedness of religious life in a local uh, culture and a local community. And at the same time, we can see how these uh, spiritual women uh, strived uh, for, for a way of life uh, in, in which uh, they, they would rise above the local and very masculine religious culture of their time. So why don't you join us in discovering the plausibility and the value of this notion of pure religion. And if at all possible for you, please also um, join us and come over and visit all the beginnages of the Low Countries. Goodbye.